I really hope the hype behind Yoshi P is really real. I see you in a lot of other people. Look at him as someone who knows how to make a good Final Fantasy game. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not saying. Okay, my my position is this. It's not so much that I think he knows how to make a good Final Fantasy game. Uh, because there's an argument to be made about Final Fantasy 13 and 15 and 12 and 10. They're they're all being good. They're just good in different ways. See, what what we think of individually as good is quite different from, I, I guess, audience engagement measured by the number of units sold. As much as people hate, or, I mean, the, the critics rail against, like, Final Fantasy 13 or even 15. There's people that swear, like, 15's a piece of garbage. The fact is that a lot of units were sold, which doesn't mean the game is good, just means that a lot of people engaged with it. All that tells us is that, from Square Enix's point of view, if a lot of people engaged in it, there must have been a reason why. So they're obviously going to keep making games going in that direction. Now, Final Fantasy XIV is a mega hit because a lot of people engage with it, and at the same time, it happens to be quote-unquote good. The reason why I'm excited for what he has to bring to the table is because just from seeing the way that he works and the way that he rallies a team behind him, they make a game that has a lot of their personality in it. Like, he knows how to take a game and really infuse a lot of his personality and his passion into it, and then that will hopefully, but not always, result in a game that will reflect that. And that's, that's great. A weak director is going to end up creating a game with a lot of good parts, but they don't really all go together. And that's sort of the same thing I felt with Final Fantasy XIII, uh, 15 and to a degree 12 like the game itself isn't horrible there's a lot of merits to it it just doesn't feel like it all kind of goes together in a very harmonious way 14 feels like it does 16 might be a slightly different story because it's Takai and it's not Yoshida but I don't know I just know that if they're if Yoshida is willing to put that kind of effort and energy into the point where he almost like, killed himself to make the game it's proof that the game really really matters to him um, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to see it through. And, you know, you, you can respect that. Like, what do fans of a game really want? They just want to know that the, the developers care as much about the game as they do, right? And you can make that same argument about Kitase and Nomura too, as much as people uh, critiqued Final Fantasy VII Remake for its various flaws. Uh, you can't doubt that Hamaguchi, Nomura, and Katase, they really cared about the game, and a lot of it shows. Like, So I'm hoping that that a lot of it will show in 16 as well, as much as it showed in 14, and that it's being helmed by someone who knows not just how to really care about a game, but how to turn that care into an actual, tangible, measurable you know, result. Like, I think he's a good director. Uh, Good directors are often good selectors. They choose the right teams to work with them. And a team that they don't feel like they have to micromanage too much in order to get the result that they want. So I I have faith in Yoshida's passion and I have faith in Yoshida's uh, his decisions. How the game turns out, I'll probably really like it. But then, of course, there's going to be a group of people that think that the game is crap. But regardless, Creative Business Unit 3s, you can't deny their love for the product that they make and that's really all that we can ever ask for and i guess maybe that's why he's revered a little bit more because we can feel that love for the game that he has and we can't necessarily feel it from like ito's team or um i'm sorry not ito um tabata's team i'm sure they care about the game it's just that we can't feel it as much as we can with Yoshida because he's more public with it that's all because here's the thing, I mean, how do you even judge what is a good game? Every every person with a keyboard and a smartphone will tell you this is what sucks with this game in ABCD, you know? If everyone has an opinion, then what do you trust? Well, you have to trust the sales numbers. Maybe it doesn't tell you 
is this a good game or a bad game? All it tells you is that, well, people engage with it and in the end, isn't that what's important? Unfortunately, the most vocal fans are the ones that are heard, but the silent ones that just enjoy the game probably never say anything. And the very vocal ones are like the very vocal minority. Just because you've been playing the game longer doesn't make you a more valid fan. It doesn't make you a... It doesn't make your opinion of the game more valid than someone who's playing it casually or a newcomer. They're just as valid of fans as you are. I know it may feel like a slight to someone who's been following the series for 20 years or 25 years. Suddenly these newcomers come in, they play this game that I feel like it sucks, but they love it. Well, their opinion shouldn't matter as much as mine, right? Because I've been playing it for longer. But no, their opinions matter just as much, if not more so, because they are like the future. So I try to never be like snobbish in that sort of way. Uh, if that's what people want, then hey man, your opinion is just as valid as anyone else's.